Assalamu alaikum in this lecture we will handle our errors the errors which we can get while accessing apis here are the routes we are saving the data and updating and deleting but we haven't handled any exceptions here we have made a simple method here country by id Let's take an example of this. Go to the postman. And here we get the record of ID 1. And here is the record. And when we provide an ID 241, then there is no such data so first of all we will handle this for handling this create an object first we will get the country data by id and if the object is null then we will return a response and we will change this error response later so here we will use 404 which means not found the server cannot find requested resource So when we click on send button and here we can see the message record not found. We can also use this method for saving and for deleting the record. As you can see that on updating it's giving an error. So here we will handle this error. Here we will replace country with ID. We will replace this object to ID. Get country by ID. And then if the object is null, then we will response an error. Let's check this and here is the error. Record not found. And at the time of delete we have this error. We will change this like we change in update. Let's go to the postman. So here is the change. it's time to handle validation errors and at the time of creating a record there is no validation
therefore we can see that here the name of a country is empty so to handle validation first we will include validator and then and we will convert this message into array message and the actual message like this copy this and we will paste this in all of our error responses this is the proper method of showing the error so now before saving the country record let's let's make some rules like the name it must be required and the minimum characters must be 3 and for ISO we can say that this is required and it must have two characters so minimum two and maximum two and for applying these rules we will create validator make and then all the requests and the rules And if the validator fails, then we will respond back the error. Validator errors and 400. This response means that server could not understand the request due to invalid syntax. Now let's check this in Postman. Here we have errors. The name field is required. ISO must have at least two characters. Now the name must have at least three characters. And this type of error that the duplicate entry we can cover this in validation. Now it's your task to include a rule for this duplicate entry. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to check out more lessons like this then subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. If you have any question then leave it in comments section. See you in the next lecture. Take care. Bye bye.